Good morning. Looks like it is going to be an absolutely scorching day. Um, welcome to Dice and Bolts, where I take a look at the core dice mechanics behind some of the role-playing games which are gracing my shelf. A uh, couple of videos this morning. The first one that I'm going to have a look at is Anima Beyond Fantasy. This is one of my favourite yet most unplayable games on my shelf. It is beautiful. If you imagine a Final Fantasy role-playing game, this is the closest thing that you can get. It's quite medieval fantasy, but it's got Lost Kingdoms. It's got anime-style style artwork. I waited for seven years for this game uh, because I saw the um, character sheets on drive through Sheets, RPGSheets.com. It's just an old aggregate website. Uh, it's from a company called Edge Entertainment. Uh, the websites on the back of the book are edge ed, www.edgeent.com and www.animarpg.com. But it was published, the European edition was published by Fantasy Flight Games. It is out of print, it's difficult to get hold of. I was fortunate to find the last book that I needed because they did a, a series of uh, adventures on a trip to Bristol two years ago. So it's yeah well worth it and the core I, I say it's unplayable that's a bit harsh a bit harsh the the game the core team were i believe spanish or european so uh the translation of it i think wasn't it was done as like a, a literal translation rather than natural translation translation and it, it means that it's a little bit all over the shop and the book is not organized particularly brilliantly and the core mechanics take up like two pages right at the start of the book it's not listed on the index or anything like that but the basics of it the dice and bolts percentage dice okay um and you have uh, it's a roll high system we have open dice so if you roll a 90 or higher you get to roll and add uh, on the second roll if you get 91 or higher you roll and add again then 92 or higher roll and add again so you've got options for some really quite stacked up rolls you're rolling versus um for most checks you're rolling versus the difficulty number the difficulty number is kind of like 20 to 40 for routine tasks 80 is considered difficult and the difficulty table goes all the way up to 440 big roll however you will be adding uh, modifiers, one of which is your ability rating, which is a percentage rating. So you may, as a starting, starting characters are odd. There's no example characters in the book and it's a point-based system. So it's really quite all over the shop and character creation is just, uh, I still haven't got my head around it and I've had the game for years. Um, but there's a GM's kit that came out and that's got a load of sample characters in it. Some of them who have, have skills from 10 to 50. One guy's got a skill of 80%. Okay. And it does note that if your skill is 200% or higher, so you can get some really high numbers. So if we're taking sort of 50 as a, as, as a, as a reasonable modifier, this roll here, 83 plus 50, there goes 133. Okay. So we've, uh, versus a target of 80 we've beat it by 40 points so you get beat by 0 to 40 there's a success beat by 40 to 79 then there's a, a what's it called uh, i didn't write down what it's called but basically beat by 40 and beat by 80 you've got significantly better results uh combat is a little bit different so uh, you if you're actively defending in combat, say, I want to take a swing at the beast man. No orcs in this setting, no elves, dwarves, hobbits. It's very good non-standard, non-traditional Western fantasy setting. Uh, you want to take a swing at a beast man. He gets, makes his, de he declares that he's going to actively dodge. He makes a dodge check. So again, 133 dodge points. Um, if we then say, right, well, we've got plus 80 in attack. We then roll and we say uh, 64 and 80, uh, 144. So we've beaten by about 13 points. And then there's a combat table where you work out the effective final dice roll versus the target armor type from 1 to 20 across the top of it. And then that tells us how much the percentage damage that we do. We then look at our weapons damage table and then take it from there. Now, 
opposed D100s exploding versus an armor type to give us an amount of damage dealt. We've seen that before. I haven't done a video about it, but that is the core, the Dyson Bolts of Rollmaster, Iron Crown Enterprises game. Um, there's a few slight differences. So this game has roll and add on 90 or higher. Rollmaster was 95 or higher. This game fumbles on a 1 to 3, but unlike Rollmaster, where if you roll a particularly low roll, you roll another percentage dice and then subtract that so you can get rolls below hand. Um, and there's nowhere near it. There are a lot of tables in this, but there aren't as many tables as there are in Rollmaster. So if you've played Rollmaster before, or Merp, or... Uh, Han Master, I think, used a very similar thing, or Harp, which is the high action role playing game. All of it, all of Iron Crown's systems, it's the same sort of thing. Percentage dice plus a modifier versus a difficulty number. Get it as nice as high. Open dice roll, so not exploding dice, but similar at the top of it. That's the dice and bolts of Anima. Roll well, and I will see you around.